Welcome back, gang gang. Let's go ahead and slide into it and see what it's giving because it's pretty much going to be giving the truth, the divine truth. So help us most high. Um, this message is specifically for the little ass boys because this one little boy about to get his ass whooped uh, for jumping on my stat. You know, commenting his little, his little personal opinion. See, <clears throat> one thing that I noticed in collective, y'all need to notice this too. You have over 5,000 friends or however many friends you have on Facebook, right? I pay attention to the people that never comment on my post but comment when they disagree with me or comment when they have an issue. Those are real live haters and people that you should stay the fuck away from because I post up daily and you never comment. But as soon as I say something that you dislike or something that hit home for you, you want to come on my post, that's a hater that was waiting to waiting for their moment. Remember, Nicki Minaj said, I wish I could have this moment for life. That's the energy that they in. They were waiting for their moment. See, when you waiting for your moment with me, you're going to get fucked. Because it's not going to be the moment that you thought it was going to be. This is the high priestess. You're going to get fucked. So, the Most High said, come out here and tell these little ass boys the truth. Because they be thinking that they right and your ass be motherfucking wrong. How the fuck can you tell me what the truth is and you don't even pray to the Most High? You pray to Jesus. Let's see if Jesus can give you this information. The most I told me, po uh, polygamy or polygra polygramy, however you want to call it, right? Polygamy, right? Let me tell y'all something. Y'all niggas, a.k.a. little boys, y'all be having baby mamas and girlfriends, multiple. That is not what the most High meant by being in a polygamy relationship or a poly relationship. When you look at these men that are in poly relationships, let's say a man has 10 wives. Those are wives. They're not baby mamas. They're not girlfriends. They're not cut buddies. They're not potentials. They're not none of that. They are what the fuck they are. Wives. You must, they must be wives in order for you to have multiple women. Let's, let's, let's state that first. Okay. So if you got multiple women and they're not wives, you are already out the loop. The most high not protecting you or the, or those hoes, right? So let's know that they're wives. Then the Most High said, if he got 10 wives, that means he got 10 families and the nigga provide for all 10 families. Y'all bitches can barely provide for one, maybe two. How the fuck you going to provide for all 10? So if you got five girlfriends, you should be providing for all five of those girlfriends. If you not taking care, should none of them five bitches be wanting for nothing? These men who are in poly relationships don't none of these bitches want for nothing none of the bitches are arguing or going back and forth bitch you can't even get keisha and motherfucking sarah to come together for pookie birthday because they two different baby mamas how the fuck you go exactly so for all the motherfuckers out there who claim that the most high created more women to man that's so women I mean, men can have polygamy no and it's one four four on the clock the reason why the world has more women is because women are creators women produce that's why it's more women it's more women because the most high favored the woman and not the fucking man that's why it has nothing to do with polygamy you dumbasses yes i'm coming with this energy because i'm tired of motherfuckers saying dumb shit and giving out dumbass knowledge now let me tell you ladies something and this is the truth, and it's not no motherfucking, no fucking opinion. A grown-ass man can control his penis. 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 These little boys can't control their penis. I, you can put a grown-ass man in a room, naked bitches, bad bitches. That motherfucker gonna stick to his guns. Are these women attractive? Hell yeah. Do they turn him on? Hell yeah. He not going to lie. He going to be truthful. But that man has something that you little boys don't have. It's control over his mind, body, shape. I mean, his mind, body, soul, and spirit. It's having control over his penis. He is not the flesh. Okay? He is his spirit. And he knows logically what the fuck he got back home. See, y'all niggas be working through pride and ego. Any nigga that work through pride and ego, ladies, run. That's an unhealed nigga. That means he gonna bleed on you and you ain't even cut the nigga. I'm about to help y'all separate yourself from little boys and grown-ass men. Little boys gonna play with your ass. 
Oh, yeah, I'm talking to Sarah and I'm talking to Becky. That's a little ass boy. I'm telling you, grown ass men done already went through that. They done healed from it. They done learned from it. They don't want multiple bitches because they know what from their experience. They know what that causes. If a man had multiple women, right, meaning he was being a pimp or a player, he had all this confusion, a grown man learned from that. They don't want to have that no more. They don't want their windows busted out their car because they got Sarah in the house. They don't want to be taken away from their kids because the, the, the girl who they didn't check out, they just fucked because they thought she was bad. She a real crazy bitch. And now she keeping him away from his kids. See, you can always tell the little boys from the grown ass men. And I'm telling y'all how. Then these same ass niggas be disloyal to a woman, right? Five, five, five on the clock. But scream that they're loyal. The post that, the post that was made was made by a little ass boy. And I shared it from another nigga. Wasn't even speaking on the nigga. I'm speaking on the nigga who actually typed the goddamn stat up. But it made him feel some type of way. He was hurt. So that's why he commented. But back to the initial post, the nigga who really wrote it. He butt hurt. He ain't healed. You can tell he damaged. Because he gonna say, if I'm providing, then be getting ready to get cheated on. So because you provide for me, it's okay for you to cheat. Y'all listen to this. These be the same motherfuckers that'll disrespect you in their car in their house because it's theirs. Disrespect is okay. It's never okay. Okay? This is why, listen up, niggas, little ass boys. This is why women become independent and scream that they don't want a fucking man. Why the fuck would a woman want a fucking nigga if in order for him to help her or pay bills or pay all the bills, he got to cheat? That makes a bitch go out and get her own because she's not going to put up with that shit. This is, listen to what the fuck he said. Okay, so because a woman cook and clean, then she got every right to cheat on you is basically what the fuck you saying. Because guess what, bitch nigga, you only pay bills. A woman take care of your ass, your kids, herself, and a motherfucking household. She doing everything. So she should be the, so, so if anybody gonna be a cheater in this bitch, it should be the woman. She done gave birth. She, she done did more than what the fuck you doing. All you doing is paying bills. So that gives you a right to cheat. That's a little ass boy mentality. That's a little ass boy who wasn't, who's not healed. And that's a little ass boy who was raised by another little ass boy talking about go ask your daddy and your uncle. Let me tell you something. I know a lot of fucking men that didn't cheat. Because they are grown ass men. And they told me. So if you out here cheating on bitches, or if niggas is out here cheating on bitches, listen up. Get that nigga up out your square. I mean, get that, get, that, get that square up out your circle. And the reason why I'm telling you to get that square up out your circle is because if a nigga be disloyal to a woman that take care of him and doing what the fuck she's supposed to be doing, he'll never be loyal to anybody. Y'all need to start looking at shit for what it is. A motherfucker could tell you what the fuck I meant, what type of nigga he is by, by, by how he deal with a woman. But y'all don't look at that. So I told this nigga, I said, so because you pay all the bills... It's okay for you to cheat on me. So I said, okay. So this same this same thing is going to go for these niggas. So when you feed your homie or help your homie provide, it's okay for you to get for your name to be on paperwork is basically what you're saying. Nah, because you fed your homie. Listen to what these people be saying. Niggas who agree because they pay all bills, it's okay for them to cheat. Them my niggas you don't want on your team at all. They're disloyal. If they not even loyal to a woman that they supposed to take care of because man did not create no motherfucking man. The most high didn't create a man to be a cheater. The most high created a man to provide and protect and take care of a woman without having stipulations. Oh, I'm going to do what the most high created me to do, but I got to cheat. No, you're not doing what the fuck the most high created you to do. The most high created you to protect and provide for a woman. Not protect and provide and then go cheat on her. Because if you cheating on her, you're causing her to be lower level energy. You put baggage on her. You place insecurities on her. Y'all y'all don't make shit make sense. I do. The most high does not approve cheating. Because with cheating, it comes with other shit. Like self-esteem issues. All of this other stuff. That's only the devil. And sexual or sex comes from the devil. Lust. 
You're supposed to be intimate with someone you share the same frequency and vibration with. Y'all bitches and niggas, y'all niggas out here fucking bitches that ain't even on your level. But guess what the most high said? And the most high said, tell them this because you told them last a uh, few months ago and last year and they ain't listen. Every time y'all go out here and cheat, whether it's a girlfriend, baby mama, or whoever, the most high gonna let it to make sure that the woman that you cheat on her with does voodoo and make sure she's at the top of the top. A lot of y'all niggas here about to be falling out. Your dick might get sick. You might get sick. I'm telling you, if, if y'all out here cheat, especially if you marry, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, y'all gonna get something that you can't get rid of. The most high said, I'm not playing with y'all. I told y'all this is the year of love, not fake love. That's what y'all giving out, fake love. The most high is burning y'all asses up because that shit that y'all claim is right, that's what the devil taught y'all. That's what the devil showed y'all. That's what the devil allowed man to teach y'all. Stupid asses. Shame on you. Don't even know your culture. Disrespecting our fucking ancestors by making it seem like they're just out here having multiple women. No! And it was, it was 11.01 on the clock. These women were fucking powerful. And the women who were at the top at the top they were the only woman. And it was 11 11 on the goddamn clock. These men who had multiple wives, those women wasn't in they wasn't in they wasn't in charge of no power. They was probably just the queen beside a king. That's why they was able to have multiple wives. You won't ever hear about no no Nubian queen who whooped ass. You don't hear about a Manchicato being being 10 wife, fourth wife, fifth wife. Bitches who hold weight, they build with one man to build an empire. But I say legacy because empires get thrown. So, ladies, I had to drop jewels on y'all. Leave these fucking little-ass boys alone. Let these little-ass boys play with these little-ass girls. If you're a grown-ass woman, um, you can't raise no little-ass boy into a man. His, if you meet a guy, he over the age 18 and he's still cheating, lying, doing child games, leave him for the streets, baby, because it's going to take him a long time before he gets to where the fuck he need to go. You already at where you at. You can't raise no little boy or turn a little boy into a man. His daddy was supposed to do that. And if, he, if his ass ain't caught on to it now, he ain't going to never catch on. And I know y'all like some men know he ain't going to never catch on. Let that nigga go. Them, them type of niggas be for the streets. When I'm talking to you divine feminists, them niggas is beneath you. They can't even spit shine your heels or spit shine your shoes. They can't even come in and clean up your house. The Most High said, keep these little ass boys away from you. That's why all of them about to go to prison. All these real, that's what I'm saying, telling you, like, these motherfuckers think I just be saying shit because they be thinking I be mad. I don't work from pride and ego, baby. That's why I'm where I'm at. Because I remove pride and ego, honey. And if I ever work through pride and ego, I let it be known. I be like, this is my pride or this is my ego. No, this is my passion coming for this message that the Most High said. A lot of y'all little boys is about to go where the fuck you belong. And the Most High said, I created prison for y'all. Mm. Prison is, see, man created prison for black men to keep them stuck so they can clone them. The Most High allowed them to create prison to put, to put y'all dumbass, wicked people who play for the devil, who try to make it seem like it's christian -y or uh, they Christians and shit. Let me go ahead and tell y'all something. I don't give a fuck who get mad. Truth like rain. I don't give a fuck who will fall on. And it's raining and thundering outside. Christianity is for devil worshipers. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that. Jesus is something that man created. It's not real. And Jesus comes from pagans. Who represent the devil. Every time you call on Jesus, you are you are inviting the devil inside your home. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that. Fuck it. The most I said, tell them motherfuckers something. Because you little ass boys be raised by these Christians. That's, and, 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 I'm te and I'm speaking facts. Because the ones who are not raised by Christians. Or the ones who walked away, you know. Felt out for their own self. They not in their energy. I, I can bet you any amount of money they not in their energy. Because those are grown-ass men. They separated themselves from the crowd and went a different way. They stopped following the masses, dropped the M, which is really the asses. These grown-ass men want real love. They want to build. They want, they want a team, a teammate. They want real, genuine love. Stay away from motherfuckers who, who, say, stu who say stupid shit like that. Oh, I pay all the bills. I'm going to go out and cheat. 
That's a this niggas. Pay attention to that. That's a nigga that you don't want on your team. If you got a homeboy and he walk around cheating on his girlfriend, lying, doing all this shit, think about it. Who the fuck are you? This woman is sucking his dick with you not. Doing tricks on the dick with you not. Fitting and cooking for this nigga with you not. Who the fuck are you? If he treating her like that, who the fuck are you? Y'all niggas don't make shit make sense. And then when your homie switch sides on you, you be wondering like, what the fuck? Bitch, he showed you what the girl he was fucking with. That he ain't shit. Like, y'all need to pay attention to shit like that. When a girl be like, oh, I'm going to go cheat on my man. Bitch, I ain't fucking with you because you disloyal. Like, bitches be thinking that shit cute. I'm not just, this message is for the niggas. But that go for bitches too. Anybody that's out here cheating. You are a low level, unhealed, damaged, broken crackhead. That's what I'm going to start calling y'all. Because sounds like some crackhead shit to me. Sounds like some crackhead shit to me. Sounds like some crackhead shit to me. Oh, I pay all the bills. Let me go cheat on your ass. Nigga, so because you pay all, you let money. You let money change your morals and your values is what the fuck you're saying. People say money is the root of all evil. No, it's the people who want the money that be evil. I'm not saying everybody who want money is evil. Basically, what I'm saying is for the love of money, what they would do for money. So with that being said, y'all stay the fuck away from these little ass boys that's pretending, playing dress up. Then they'll try to justify, well, go ask your daddy or your uncle. Like, that's going to piss me off. Them was, they little boys too. My sperm donor, little ass boy. <laughs> you got me fucked up. I got an uncle that ain't cheat, but his wife cheated on him. And he's still with her ass. I would have threw that bitch to the streets. Period. Because she was cheating up a goddamn storm. This is a man who is working, doing what the fuck he want to do. Now, granted, his first child is by a different mother, but he only got two different... He only got one baby mama and he got a wife. Because the one who was cheating on him, she's not a baby mama, she's a wife. But at the end of the day, it ain't got nothing to do with gender. It's all about a person's character and morals and values. Do they have fucking integrity or not? Motherfuckers who lie and cheat on people don't matter the gender. You don't have integrity. And I don't want to be around you because I am a person of integrity. So why would the fuck would I chill with people who don't have integrity? Either they going to feed or eat off of my energy or they going to bring me down. I don't do neither one of those. So with that being said, let's normalize grown folk shit. If a nigga feel like because he doing something for you, he can do whatever the fuck he want to do. Throw that little ass boy back to the street. Same thing with these bitches. Everything is a team effort. And just because you got something more or something that doesn't make you the big king or the big queen, it's still partnership. I pay attention to shit like that. A nigga get, uh, like a nigga get a little bit of money, start acting funny, go on about your business. Because at the end of the day, whatever the fuck is given to you, it shouldn't change you. It shouldn't change the relationship that you have with a person. Meaning if we were cool before I got money, we're going to be cool after I get money. Pay attention, y'all. Really pay attention to these motherfuckers that's out here making it seem like some good shit. These are wicked-ass, unhealed people that, I, I'm telling you, low-vibrating energy. Low-vibrating. And every time y'all come to me, I will address it because you want to know why. I don't give a fuck about nan nigga nan bitch. I'm going to speak my truth, speak that justice, and I'm going to always make the shit make sense. You want to know why? Because the most high is backing me, bitches. And that's and that and that bitch word, the bitches was for you niggas. It was specifically for men. I meant for males. Cause ain't no grown ass men. Ain't no grown ass man gonna go back and forth with no female. I'm telling y'all. Now, if you in a relationship and y'all arguing about something, cool. But I made a post and a nigga came to my post, never commented on none of my shit, but he made sure he commented on that one because he felt some type of way. When a nigga got to go back and forth with you over your opinion and you a female, just say, okay, if you gay, just say that then. Because who do y'all know? What type of males y'all know argue with females? Only ones I can think of is the same is, is the ones that like what I like. <laughs> hey, Diddy. Hello. Shout out to the gay boys. Hey, poo. Because y'all know what it is. Tell them. They be trades on the low, don't they? They be trades. T-R-A-D-E. That's them. Acting like they ain't, but they really fuck with me and they some T-R-A-D-E, that's them. Trying to act like they fuck with women, but they fuck with men. The fuck? 
go! They fuck with me and let's go! They fuck with me and cut they T-R-A-D-E trades. Put it at the S. Cause they fucking niggas for free and they hanging out the window with they ratchet ass friends. Pay attention to them niggas who always want to chill with their homies. We know what they do. And it's a movie. I don't know what it's called, Brotherhood or something, but where they be blowing in each other's eyes. They got the nigga Leon, some light skinned dude and, and a dark skinned dude talking about brotherly love. They'll go on trips and be fucking while they wives at home. And they're talking about, let me blow in your eye. You got something inside your eye, let me blow in it. That's a signal to let them know, hey, I'm gay, what's up? Let's go! If you gay, then just say that. From now on, when I see a nigga arguing with a female, now if that's your female, that's something different. She could have pushed the button. But when I see niggas arguing with females that they don't know, random bitches, I'ma just walk up and say, sir, if you gay, then you know, just say that. That right there will stop him. And if it don't, then that lets you know what he is. He a booty bandit. Period. My stepdaddy told me, ain't no need to be arguing with, ain't no need to be arguing with no female. A man is supposed to be loving to a woman, sensitive, caring, and nurturing to a woman. My stepdaddy said you only be rough and all that shit with a man. When it comes down to a woman, you do not give her the same energy that you give a man. And any man that gives a woman the same energy that they giving a man likes men. And RIP to my stepdaddy for dropping that jewel. He argued with my mama, but it wasn't an everyday thing. And he'll tell her, girl, you got it. <laughs> And my mama sometimes will keep on going. Sometimes she wouldn't be in the mood and she'll shut up. It don't matter. But what I'm saying is, he wasn't arguing, just coming out the blue, arguing with her. He wasn't doing none of that. And it, 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 it'll get to a point where he don't even be saying that. It, all you hear is my mom. So that's what I'm sitting here telling you. Like, ain't no nigga going to be arguing with no female. Especially, like he said, a random female. Any nigga that's arguing with a random female and that's him touching my cord did you hear he said tell him any man that's out here arguing any male that's out here arguing with a random female likes men and there's no way shape ain't no way around it because what are, he asked me he said what are they getting what are they winning what are they accomplishing two 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 on the clock for arguing with a woman what are you accomplishing the the most i said no ask yourself that by making her cry, make her feel some type of way. Is that does the, if that makes you win or make you feel like you want something, then you need to go look at yourself in the mirror, the man in the mirror, and 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 check yourself. My stepdaddy said, "What does a man gain or what do he win from arguing with a woman?" That's a man who got low self-esteem and needs some type of control. That's a, that's a little ass boy that ain't getting, that don't feel like a man. So he got to go somewhere where he feels somebody weak is and try to get feel like a man. My stepdad said, I'm, I'm a man all day, every day. I don't need to step on nobody's toes or argue with nobody to, to show that I'm a man. It's built in his essence to be a man providing he cooked he cleaned he didn't let gender roles oh uh, your mama supposed to cook no he cooked and he cleaned whoever the fuck was at work and whoever the fuck was at home it was their job to take care of the kids i don't know how the fuck y'all was raised and i really don't care but a lot of these niggas was built off of survival was raised off survival and not fucking love so a person that's raised off survival can't tell me shit about love because you don't you your ass wasn't raised off of it you was raised off survival you was raised to fend for yourself, to be on go, to be on guard, to think everybody's going to do something to you because you had to get it on your own as a kid. And I'm telling you, a damaged child only creates an unhealed adult. So if you ain't healing your childhood wounds or you not making it easier for your child, all you doing is creating a fucked up ass adult. Let's break these generational curses. When my kids come in... I'm not saying they're going to be perfect, but I know for a fact they're not going to be doing none of the stupid shit because I broke my generational curses before I had them. So that means I'm due rainbow kids. Those are kids without karma. See, y'all motherfuckers be out here treating people wicked and evil and then be forgetting about your kids. We are spirits that make our own karmic debt, but your parents or people around you 
make debt and they pass it down. That's why it's called breaking generational curses. If you ain't broke the curse from out your family, you're going to pass that bullshit down to your kids. So let's say you smacked Sarah 10 years ago. Now your kids is going to get the repercussions and the consequences of you smacking Sarah. This is why I tell y'all, whatever the fuck you do, it trickles down on your kids. That's why when I get these messages and say, oh, Carmen, who doing voodoo, that kid going to die. It's trickled down on your kids. No one is safe. Not your fucking kids either. Them be the first ones that the most high get rid of. Because you're attached to it. You love it. So if the most high fuck with something that you love, like you fucking with the something, something that the most high love, it's even playing field. It got to be balanced. You feel me? But I'm going to go ahead and end this reading right, right, right there. Really, this message. Y'all, stay fuck away from these little ass boys. Because they be trades on the low. Any nigga that's willing to argue with a fucking woman, girl, it don't matter. They fuck niggas. I'm telling you. I've been around nothing. Ever since I done got into this frequency, got into this energy, I've been a nothing. I've been around nothing but grown ass men. These men don't argue with women. The first thing they say is, girl, I ain't about to argue with you. You got it. You got it. If the woman is arguing, they either stand there or leave. I have not came across no men who be arguing with females. And when I do, it be the ones from my Facebook. That's the most I tell me. Clean off your Facebook again. And that's the fuck I'm going to do. But stay away from these little ass boys pretending like they fucking men. Y'all need to know the difference between a little ass boy and a man. Do not let man, meaning the world, tell you what the fuck a man is. Ask the most high what a man is. Because who created man? Exactly. Ain't can't nobody tell you better than the motherfucking creator. Why would I go to man when the most high is telling me? Polygamy is for grown ass men who can provide for all families and make those women wives. Polygamy is not for girlfriends or boyfriends, baby mamas or baby daddies. So if you in a relationship, cut buddy girlfriend and ain't none of them your wives. The most high did not honor that. So that so that little orgy is not protected. Meaning y'all all got tested, but somebody can slip out and go fuck somebody that got AIDS. The most high is not gonna keep that. Thank you, Most High. The Most High said that's not covered. Have you ever got hit by something and your insurance tell you that's not covered? Most High said it's not covered. So what you gotta do when it's not covered? You gotta pay out of pocket. The Most High said pay up. Namaste, gang gang.